Good morning, everyone. Today we'll be talking about chest X-ray rotation. So, how to tell a uh, chest X-ray is rotated or it is centrally placed, a rightward or leftward rotation? So, let's go through it. So, basic uh, assessment of chest X-ray, like prior to interpreting the findings of the lungs and the heart, you should know that some basic assessment, which includes a code called as right. So, it means R means rotation, I means inspiration, P is projection, and E is exposure. So we'll in this video we'll be talking only about the rotation. In the coming videos, we'll be also talking about this inspiration, projection, and exposure. So rotation is normally as any X-ray is told as rotated. How we say is we have to take the normal color. When you see a chest X-ray, you see a spine here. Oh, okay, so when there is a spine here and there is a with a spinous process which is available here. So with the so there is a distance between the spinous process. So the distance between this spinous process and this clavicle end. If it is both equal in distance, so you have to measure this distance from the end of the medial end of the clavicle with the spinous process. These are the spinous process. So if you have to measure this distance between the spinous process and the middle end of the clavicle, if the if at the both the sides, the clavicle the distance is the same. That means it is the centrally placed. So here you can see is another uh, X-ray where you can see the spinous process is here and the distance between this middle end of clavicle is less when compared to uh, this middle end of clavicle. That is the right side. It is uh, more. Uh, it is lesser distance is there. That means the patient has rotated towards the right or X-ray is rotated to the right. So this distance decreases when the rotation is there. Another important finding in case of rotation is that there will be increase in blackness of one hemithorax to the, which the patient is rotated, irrespective of whether the chest X-ray has been taken PA or APU. So irrespective of AP or PAU, whichever side the patient has rotated, so which has rotated, that will show more black when compared to this. You can see here more blackness you can see here when compared to this. So this is all about the rotation. The main thing to remember is the spinous process and the distance between the spinous process and the middle end of clavicle. In the coming videos, we will also we'll be also talking about the inspiration, how to assess inspiration, projection and exposure of an X-ray. Hope you have liked this video. Uh, if you want more video like this, do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Akif Big. If you have any doubts, you can text me on my comment box. Thank you.